I am going to go ahead and just instead of talking about what a MAC address table is and what it does, I want to show you guys. So as you see, I'm opening up a copy of Cisco Packet Tracer and I'm going to center the scroll bars and bring up a lab that I have created. This is the lab we are going to be using throughout this class to, for me to explain topics to you. And you guys are probably too far away to see, but this switch where my mouse is, the top left one, is switch one. This bottom one on the left is switch two, and then switch three, top right, switch four, bottom right. Switch one, two, three, and four are connected to routers one, two, three, and router four. Now, if I hover my mouse over this link, and you guys probably can't see it, switch uh, router one's fast Ethernet zero, zero, or router one's port fast Ethernet zero, zero, is connected to switch one's fast Ethernet zero slash 24, or in effect, port 24. Once again, I haven't explained the naming conventions for Cisco devices yet, but we would have done that by the end of today. So, router one's fast Ethernet zero slash zero, or port zero slash zero, is connected to switch one's fast Ethernet, the FA stands for fast Ethernet, port zero slash 24, or in effect, port 24. Now, I'm going to click on switch one, and I'm going to go to the command line interface. The CLI, if you can see it, is the command line interface. And here we are inside of switch one. And don't worry what that EN stands for. We will cover that a little bit later today in class. But if I say show Mac address table, and I hit enter, you see, don't worry about what this is, VLAN 1, we will learn that later. I'm just going to point to the fields that are pertinent to you. So, on port fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 on the switch, you see the MAC address 00605C60C801. The type, it says dynamic, which means this was automatically learned. This word dynamic means that switch one learned this MAC address. So switch one learned this MAC address dynamically on port FA0 slash 24. Now, what if we are suspicious that this really is the MAC address of the device connected to FA0 slash 24? Well, as I said, router one is connected to switch one's fast Ethernet 0 slash 24. So router one's port 00, zero fast Ethernet 00, zero, is connected to switch one's fast Ethernet 0 slash 24. So let's make sure that the MAC address learned on port 24 on switch one is actually that of router one's. So I logged into router one and I'm going to look at interface fast ethernet zero slash zero, which is connected to switch one's fast ethernet zero slash 24. And the MAC address I'm seeing on router one is 00605C60C801, which is the same MAC address that switch one has learned on port 24. Now, for those of you who are wondering what this BIA stands for, this is the burnt, this BIA stands for burnt in address. So MAC addresses are actually burnt into the network interface card of a device with a laser. So hence it says burnt in address. And the burnt in address in this case is the same as the configured MAC. This can vary, this can change, but for this class, you're gonna see that it always remains consistent. So once again, to look at a device's MAC address table, you do 
the show Mac address hyphen table command. Now, these other Mac addresses on port three, port one, and port two, these are the Mac addresses of switch two and switch three. We will get to that later. Right now, only thing you need to remember is when you look at a Mac address table on a Cisco device, you execute the show Mac address dash table command on the switch. All right, that concludes the lab section.